Hey, good morning, YouTube. So today I um, was at the gas station and I met up with the guy who put in my air conditioner. And he said that I could pick up a condenser unit right over here. It's not that far away from my house. Um, probably like eight minutes away. But we'll see what... Uh, See, it's Canal View Drive. It's not it. It's, it's almost it. But hopefully we can make. Some, he's a heat and air conditioning guy. Hopefully we can make some type of deal where he'll let me pick up his uh, units, his condenser units, and that would be pretty cool. Um, I mean, he's giving me this one for free, so. I don't know, I got some scrap on there right now from a clean out me and Naz did yesterday, but it was so hot yesterday that I couldn't film. Uh, it was just a sweat box. So, yeah, here I'll show you this stuff. So see it all. But I'm gonna see Naz this weekend. We're gonna do a big thing at the flea market. I'm gonna go yard sailing, uh, yard sailing tomorrow. Today's Friday. And, uh, I guess that's the plan. We just had like two inches of rain last night. So everything soaked. It was uh, definitely a downpour. Like at five o'clock in the morning. Um, trying to think what else good's going on. We, uh, I'm getting ready to go to Brimfield for the summer one. My buddy Naz isn't gonna go, but my uh, a friend of mine, Matt from California, he's he's coming. Uh, he's definitely a shyster wheeler dealer guy, but he's he's good. Got very very good energy. So that is, uh, I guess this is the company right here. We shall see what's up. Looks like there's the unit. He might already have it loaded, and then it is what it is. But we'll find out. All right, I'll get right back to you. I, I wasn't much more than an hour. <laughs> I got a... Uh, I appreciate it a lot. I've been scrapping a bunch recently, so this is definitely a... Definitely a big thank you. Um, if you ever... Like I have a bunch of jobs and you need. Do you have a, you have a card? Yeah, I'll, g I'll give you my number. I need, I need your number too. But I, I had one problem with the. Uh, I guess I haven't turned on my AC yet this year because it didn't want to start. So, that's good. It does them a favor because they can't go and pick up the next thing until they unload it. So. It is a good thing. What's your phone number? One second. Whatever you're... I can drive from here to Bordentown without any problems. Alright, I got it. Anytime I need you, I'll give you a call. I, I highly appreciate it. You don't it. think that's going to fall out, huh? No, I'm going to put a strap on it. I got it right here. Um, the Do you guys do maintenance or no? Mm, yeah, sure. Um, Why, your air's not working? My air's not working and the heater went out twice this last winter. So there's something going on. But it, th th this time it didn't It didn't even turn on. So Call me thank you. So sorry, I wanted to cut out for my phone number. But... Uh, he is definitely going to call me again. He was happy about it. He normally uh, saves them all and has somebody come pick them up at his house. So if I can 
have him avoid having pe all these sit at his house, he would be excited. And uh, I'm going to Brimfield next week, so I won't be around, but oh, darn, I have to push this forward, see how the door came off. Um, we're going over to, uh, over to the scrap yard next. There, I made room. But the, what made this great was it was just a cold call gas, like, recognized his face and saw that he had the AC unit and, or AC on his truck. And I said, aren't you the guy who did my AC? And he said, yeah, and he's the one who said he had the had the free scrap so it worked out really well um all right we'll, we'll finish this going to the scrap yard i'm going to take off this condenser and cut off that those wires first but all right and uh, oh i'm going to pick up the safe that we broke apart at that uh storage room and try to throw that at the scrap yard they don't really like safes because they got a lot of concrete but i don't think they care too much so all right I'm almost at the scrap yard, but of course it's about to pour down rain. Man, that sky looked mean. Um, I don't know if we'll be able to beat it, but we'll see. I got a, I got a okay load on. I mean, it's 40 bucks, 50 bucks. I threw that uh, safe that we opened up in that storage locker. Um, and see if they're gonna take it. But man, look at that rain. That is bad, bad news. Uh, it looks like we got about 15, 20 minutes. So we'll see what's up. Pile is big today. And we are 64, so we'll see. We got some brass and stuff, but look at the second. David! Light iron. Good. Thank you. But we'll see see how it goes. That's all their heavy metal right there. The pile had grown. Oh. I just hope I beat the rain. That rain is mean looking. That will wet you down to your underpants. So, we shall see. <laughs> Sorry. I say, watch me get him. Is that the camera to back up? Okay? Yeah. Yeah, I say, watch me get him. Yeah. How you doing? Everything good? Oh, yeah. It's fine. Bless you. You just throw this bike off? Huh? You just throw that bike off? Yeah, I just. If you want it, you can pick it up and get it now. That's kind of what I'm thinking. I appreciate it. I throw it off so you can get it. Thank you. You have a good day, all right? I'm trying to go fast though. We missed the rain.
cut all this wire out. I know that there's some good pieces in here. Save that for later, but that rain is on its way. gonna hit pretty good. Yeah, it hit this morning really good. Oh, you are open then? Yeah, you're open right. You hit six in the morning. Yeah. Well, that's right. Yeah, it, was, it didn't stop till about eight. When are they gonna unload that? Uh, when the, I thought they take that take that out every day. Yeah, tra crane's been down for three days. Just about this about an hour ago. It was all the way over there, bro. So, so they they did what? A couple a uh, couple loads. Oh, uh, okay. But, but normally, uh, here it comes, the rain. starting. So I didn't get the truck that cleaned off yet, but that rain's starting and I don't want to ruin the camera. So I'll see you guys later. Look at it. See it going? It does feel nice and refreshing after the last couple days, but I...
Man, it is whole brain too. I did call that. Hopefully, you guys, I just picked this out of the trash. It was, it already got rained on once, but it says bedroom miscellaneous. We're gonna go through that and uh, I'll show you what I made at the scrapyard for throwing that crap off. All right, thank you. You can see, I, I got a bit wet, but not terribly. Um, man. It's supposed to rain like this for the next four or five hours, so we'll see what happens. But I know that there's jewelry in this box, so hopefully there's some silver or gold. We'll find out. All right, until we get to the box and how much we made at the scrapyard getting soaked. Nice dry. The total was $48 today. Um, and then when I was driving to the scrapyard, I found this box. It got rained on, of course, but it's marked bedroom miscellaneous. And the only reason I picked it up is I saw that guy right there. It's a nice uh, Weller vase very no eh, it's probably a twenty dollar thing so i was like all right we've and i looked a little bit more and i saw some jewelry so i mean you can see how wet everything got i'm just pulling off all this uh but that vase is probably three four dollars five dollars at the at the flea market um it'd be interesting hopefully there's something that almost looks uh, silver. Let's see. No. I give all the costume jewelry to my daughter. That's only like a dollar. Oh, first piece of silver though. I just saw one. Here, look. See it right there? It's marked 925. It's got a nice little pendant too. That's pretty cool. Let's see if put all the stuff that's better than Columbus in the Weller vase. We can sell that Weller vase at Lambertville. There's going to be some garbage. 
That might be money. See, it's dripping. Uh, it's a little compact, but still sellable. This is really cool. It's a cameo. And there's a gold or silver. It's probably just silver. Yeah, and it's Mark Sterling. But that's still a good $10, $15 piece on eBay. Um, cameos, carved cameos always sell. And that's vintage too. Um, the candle is good for the market. Makeup bags always sell at the market, but you always want to check a makeup bag when you when somebody just throws out it must have been like a divorce or something. We just threw out all of her stuff when she didn't pick it up. Silver polishing cloth. It's kind of soaked. Rubber band ball. It's sellable at the flea market. I'm seeing more silver. It looks a silvery, but uh Nah, it's just gonna go to Gabby. Made in China. That's a cool little tea bag holder. I have a collection of those. It's good. For, uh, another candle, not opened. Candles at the flea market always sell fairly well. Man, there's a lot of jewelry underneath here. That's garbage, but. Look, that was a ring box. Oh, come on, I hope the rings are in here. That would be so cool. Monkey. Happy monkey. Uh, what are you? It's just gold platey. Look at this guy. Man, the box is soaked, it definitely. Oh, it was a neat ring box, but I mean, both those ring boxes are sellable at the flea market. That looks silver, but it's not. We're still doing pretty good. We found two pieces of silver and a bunch of little costume pieces for the kid to sell. I don't think the rings are in here. doesn't look like it. But you never know. I'll throw out this box. More polishing cloth. Ooh, 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 ooh. That sure looks good. What is it though? Ba -ba -ba. Not seeing any signature, and there's green right around there, so it's probably just a sure look goldy or gold filled. I think that's a eBay piece too, just because all those scarabs are all carved stone. And it's either it's gold filled or plate. It still works. I guess the jewelry box must have just poured out and they just gave up on it. My, uh, I bet that's silver. Sorry it's taken me so long and I know you guys were watching a scrap video, but, um, yeah, it's marked right there. 925. That's pretty good. So, put that in. That's a good eBay piece. Silver. I don't know. You never know what you're going to find in the garbage. It's another one of those tea bag holders. That first ring, and it is silver. She had teeny, teeny fingers. Good watch band. Uh, junk. like for a safety deposit box or something. Alright, what do you think? You think this one works? 
I don't know what that white powder is. Could be anything. No. I don't think that one works, but maybe this guy does. It's looking out, looking like it's empty. I'll put that to the garbage. Oh wow. Not looking like we're gonna find gold, but there's a bunch of neat vintagey pieces. That's like Avon or something. No, no gold. Oh, look at this. Military medal. That's uh, that's pretty cool. Again, whenever you're garbage picking and you find a interesting box and you see a couple, a couple good things, make sure you. Take the time, bring it home. Oh, I look at this one, and go through it. You can always put if it's all junk, you just put it right in the garbage. But that one has a date on it on the penny, 1948. That's pretty good. I'll try that on. Uh, um, online too. Sometimes those bring five, six. Five or six bucks. I wonder where I could put all that. Hey, how you doing? So, that little ring right there, it's a toe ring, but it's silver. You can go in the silver scrap. Nothing, nothing special. I might get an ounce of silver, though. So, I wish I, uh, didn't cash in my silver as fast as I do. I have some friends that can hoard it pretty good. That one silver, that earring. Yep, you can see the. You can see how wet it is. That's silver, and that's silver. Both of those chains are silver. That's pretty cool. Two silver chains. That's not. Uh, he's too rusted. People throw out the darndest things. Another silver chain right there. It's three silver chains, that's pretty good. I wonder if that one's silver now. We could open this one up. Sorry. I'll put you down in there so you guys can see what's what's in here. This one is sterling too, and it's it's got some weight to it, so that's pretty good. It's snowflake. Nothing good. Or nothing special. Oh, here's another. That's silver. Look at that. One. Five still silver chains right there. That's pretty cool. Five silver chains. We've got that nice little piece of silver right there. The silver, six silver chains. And we're not done yet. Probably get an ounce or two of silver scrap out of this. That's Mark Sterling, this one earring right here. What my daughter does when she goes and sets up at the flea market, she puts all these loose earrings and everything for people to go make uh, uh, jewelry with. And she'll charge, you know, for broken pieces, not the another silver earring. Just for broken pieces, she'll charge, or, or just mismatched pieces, she'll charge a quarter each. The last time she did that, she did like $80. Look at that, it's sterling. So, I guess there, people do a lot of crafts. Oh, that's the other part of that clasp. 
Too bad the silver bracelet isn't in there. But I'm honestly not upset. There's a little wooden box. We'll put all the little pieces so it'll dry out in this little wooden box and then she can sell it next time she goes to the market. On a gold earring like this, the post will be gold too, so that's all you really have to look at when you're looking at small, uh, small jewelry. Um, are the posts, like in earring wise. Shoes, sellable. Well, looks like that's about it. I don't think there's anything else that is going to be. Wait. Another silver chain. Too bad none of those. Man, I might have to go back to that garbage pile and go check to see it. Another sterling earring. I didn't see any other jewelry though in the other pile. So. What was that? Silver chain right there. I mean, this is a good thing to do right after you get out of a terrible rainstorm. Um, it's kind of hard to believe that that literally just happened about five, six minutes ago. Hey, lucky penny. What do you think? Nope. You can sort of steal a clasp. So. That one looks silver though. It's not. All right, I guess that's it. Everybody have a good day. I'm gonna throw the rest of this box out. And uh, thank you for watching. I got, uh, I found all this silver here. Let's see what's in this Weller vase. The Weller vase is what made me spend, oh yeah. I think that's a good $20, $30 vase and probably another 30, 40 bucks in jewelry. Um, and a couple of eBay listings. And then for the flea market, we probably got another, I don't know, only about 10, 15 bucks. I give up, again, all the jewelry. I, I let, let my daughter sell it, so. She can have all this and make money, hopefully. But, all right. Next video, thank you guys for watching. Peace. Awesome.